today I went to Gizmo. Gizmo, how old are you? I'm 26. Gizmo, uh, I approached you and I asked you if you had ever heard of Lost in Phoenix. You had never heard of Lost in Phoenix, but uh, I let you know the, the purpose of my channel, uh, Prevention Through Awareness, and the, that really resonated uh, with you. You told me that currently you're not using any substances, but you have in the past. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And you also told me that just recently you were uh, locked up and they released you? Yes. How long were you in there? I was in there since December 2nd. I did a month and six weeks. How did that go? It was very, very life-changing. For the good? Best believe. When you went in there, were you struggling with blues or addiction to anything? No. Actually, yes. I was coming down from Court of Susan Pills. That fentanyl. Okay. It's really addicting. It's very addicting. How long was that happening for? I've done it for about seven years. Eight years. It's a long time. Back eight years ago, how, who introduced you to them? Let's just say it's somebody that meant a lot to me and became a true family to me. And it sucked. It was a very, very terrible addiction. Sounds like it was somebody that shouldn't have introduced you to them, right? Yes. And? That I wish we had just said no to me instead of, oh, curiosity kills the cat. An offer, it, I wish that day didn't happen. There's some regret with like saying, accepting it, saying yes? There's a very bad regret to being addicted to fentanyl. Cause you never know when or your last life, like your last breath. Have you ever OD'd yourself? I uh, di almost died from withdrawals the second time I got incarcerated. They narcaned me four times and put me in the hospital. Does your family know that you're out here, Gizmo? I'm about to go. As a matter of fact, I was about to go visit my mom and go pop up and surprise my mom. Just let her know I'm out. It's be a good surprise, right? Because you're clean and you're ready to get on with your life or what? I got locked up this third time. Did a month, six weeks. So what I seen in there, it was very life changing and it was, my like my wake up call i don't want to make it to doc i want to make it to prison i don't want to have a number and be only 26 years old and got three kids where's your children at right now unfortunately my addiction to fentanyl made me lose them to the state so your rights as a parent have been severed? Yes. Because of your addiction? My old addiction, yes. That's a big lesson to learn when they take away your kids, huh? Mm, that, and not only that, it, it's what made me get more and more into, I don't care about life. And start using pills and losing my mother-in-law and everybody else I lost closely to me and that meant a lot to me how I was do you, alone how do you feel now now that you're uh, you're clean I feel good I feel back to the way I, I used to be do you have any plan the drugs any plans, goals going forward? Yes. I actually want to 
probably get into like some of these like places that can help me get my own place and reach up my own goals and be able to say I bought that with my own money instead of I stole it and I'm now giving it away like pawning off for drugs because I'm addicted to that drug like no another thing uh, gizmo is uh being a woman out here on the streets by yourself there's a lot of dangers you you survive i've had a terrible i've had a terrible life i've gone through some stuff really really bad stuff and rough stuff that people would ask me like how how do you keep it so together why are you how are you still so positive If you know what I've been through, yeah. Some people will be shocked if they're to know the things that you've seen, you've encountered, you've been through. They wouldn't want to see what I've been through, what I've seen, and no. Cause I wouldn't want, I wouldn't wish that upon nobody. When uh, I approached you, again, I mentioned Lost in Phoenix, mm -hmm. and I told you that the mission statement is prevention through awareness. Uh, we're trying to help young people, a 13-year-old gizmo that's at home, rebellious, fighting with family, right? Arguing with family, not listening, wanting to be older when, than what they actually are. They're trying to be cool. And unfortunately, they're consuming these pills. They're taking these pills um, because family, friends are offering them to them, offering the pills to them. So that really hit a chord with you. And you said, you know what? I'm going to share my story to try to help them just say no, just stay away from that because you don't want people to go through what you went through, right? Yeah. And incar being incarcerated and pulled away from that drug you're so addicted to, it them hurt, they hurt so bad. And that jail just, dang, they don't do you any justice. <laughs> they let you go through the withdrawals really, the original way just, just suffering they don't give you medication to help with the withdrawals they just give you like Tylenol and water right they give you a nausea pill whatever and diarrhea pill whatever but it still can't beat that pain that body ache it's miserable it really is and you got the vomiting and Who's there to take care of you? Nobody. You got you got to go through it by yourself. And uh, you're gonna start going down the path of you know creating your goals and you want to work, you want to own your own place and just live somewhere instead of out on the streets, right? What what steps do you have to take? Um, because right now you're in a, in an area that are just a bunch of you know, a bunch of people that are using around here. What do you I, have to do? Them pills stink. That smell, like, it's... Thinking about it, it's... Like, how did I get addicted to it? You know? And then, not only that, going through the time I did, and seeing girls OD in there that have been clean for so long, and just that little bit almost took their life. I'm, uh, I'm really glad that you're doing better, Gizmo. I think that's amazing. Uh, there is hope and recovery. You're an example that people do recover and do overcome their obstacles. Sometimes being locked up is a blessing in disguise, right? It, it gets you clean sometimes. It hurts, but it, it, but it, it can helps. be, but even then, like, they got them dorms that you call intake dorms. They're bringing fresh girls off the street. Ones that are willing not to go, having to go sober or nothing, that bring the drugs in. We known on the news right now. Their jail is known on the news. Australia jail is known on the news right now for how many fentanyl pills they found in there so far. So it's even, even in jail, you'll find them. Unfortunately, you have uh, corrections officers, right? Law enforcement taking them in sometimes, right? So I, I know somebody got caught a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh, it's all the, right now, it's all the inmates. Right. All the fresh inmates. Um, 
So I'm gonna say Gizmo, thank you very much for sharing your story. Yes, I'm gonna you. hand you my card with my number. If you ever need to talk, if you ever thank need you. a friend, uh, you can call me. I'm gonna give you some Narcan for, not for you necessarily, but for your friends that are out here, right? Yes. They, they might need it, okay? Yes. So uh, I'm also gonna hand you a donated blessing bag from one of my subscribers, a friend of mine. Her name is uh, Shorty. Um, so go ahead and uh, take the bag and see if if those are items that you could use. Can you go through the bag really quick uh, to see if those are items that you could you could use? I would say it works out, or even then, like I can help somebody else out with it. You know? Okay. Uh, there's also a little letter in there that she wrote for you. Um, you want to pull out the letter? First, I want to say thank you for accepting this blessing bag. My family and Mary Ann helped me make for you. I only ask that you do me a favor and say a prayer for me as I battle my struggles with depression, anxiety, and awful thoughts as well. When you can, please pay it forward and bless someone by simply being a friend and helping someone in need. I hope these items help you out a little. Be safe and please call our to go to treatment. We really do care and are preparing, are praying for you. Love, Shorty. Well, that's uh, really nice of her, right? Blessings from Shorty Girl. That's so, uh, thank you very much, um, Gizmo. I appreciate you sharing your story. Stay safe, and we'll talk soon, okay? Yes.